Hello everyone. Today we are making a delicious coffee alternative that will not only keep you warm during these cold months, but it's also healthy. We're making chicory root. Now chicory root is a plant in the dandelion family. When it's grounded and roasted, it has a dark color and a deep earthy flavor similar to coffee, but it's healthier. I'll tell you how later. Are you ready? Let's go. What you will need will be three cups of water, one tablespoon of ground chicory root, and some honey. Some optional ingredients if you like would be plant-based milk like coconut milk or soy milk and your favorite flavor extract. So first you'll fill a pot with three cups of water. Then place your chicory in the water, stir, and allow it to simmer for about 20 minutes. Health tip! Now chicory contains a fiber called inulin that feeds your healthy gut bacteria. It stimulates bile for your liver to aid in detoxification. It contains antioxidants that reduce inflammation in the body but the best part is that it's caffeine free. What's wrong with caffeine you ask? Well, let's finish up our recipe and we'll find out. So the next step is to strain the chicory granules if you want. If you leave it to simmer longer for about 30 to 40 minutes, the granules will actually soften and almost dissolve for you to drink it as is and get that extra fiber benefit. But if you don't wanna wait that long, just go ahead and strain it and then pour that drink into your favorite mug, add some honey to taste and you're done. If you'd like it to be more like a latte, add some plant-based milk and your flavor extract. Doesn't that look good? Now personally, I've never been a coffee drinker, but I give this to a client of mine who had to stop drinking coffee due to seizures. I even added a little blackstrap molasses and cara powder, which is a chocolate substitute, to make it into a mocha. She absolutely loved it. Okay, so what's the big deal with caffeine? Well, it has some benefits, but it has some negatives as well. We have a chemical called adenosine that's responsible for regulating the amounts of neurotransmitters that's released in the brain. Neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, they control things like our mood, attention, heart rate, sleep, and other functions. Caffeine blocks adenosine's ability to slow the uptake of them and stimulates them to release more. This is why people feel more awake, focused, and euphoric when they use it. The downside is, this forced stimulation on the nerves taxes the body, resulting in headaches, mood disorders, chemical imbalances, dehydration, insomnia, heart issues, nerve damage, and countless other issues. Caffeine is an addictive drug, and I know it may be hard, but if I may suggest, if you want to improve your health and avoid further issues, wean yourself off of it and slowly introduce something like chicory root in its place. Your body will thank you for it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I've inspired you on your whole food plant-based journey. Learn more ways that are guaranteed to keep you healthy through God's eight laws of health by clicking on the links in the description bar. And until next time, God bless.